Good morning friends. Uh, this is a very important uh, video for those of you who have got taxable income for the financial year ending March 2023 and assessment year 2023-24 and they have not yet submitted the income tax return. Two days back, a family friend came to our house. My wife inquired whether she had submitted the income tax return. And she said, uh, I'm not aware how to submit the return. And moreover, I'm a housewife. I don't have any income at all. Immediately, I told her, let us see your tax return. So we logged in with her help. And to their surprise, we found the TDS deducted was a substantial amount, which she was not aware. Not only she, but many people, pensioners, who have deposited money in banks, post offices, and in shares, they get interest income from deposits as well as dividends on shares. This amount is automatically captured in our income tax return because our PAN number and Aadhaar number are linked to that accounts. And this amount is quite substantial for pensioners because they might have invested substantial amount in these deposits. Even though the regular time has ended for the financial year ending March 23 by July 2023, still with a penalty of 1000 rupees, we can easily submit our income tax return for this year before 31st December 2023 with a penalty of rupees 1000 if your taxable income or the income TDS deducted is less than 5 lakhs rupees. We submitted her return yesterday and to her surprise within 24 hours today she has received the refund amount of the substantial TDS deducted. So those of you pensioners who have deposited substantial amount at the time of retirement in bank deposits or company shares and getting dividends, even if it is just 200 rupees or 300 rupees, remember it is captured in the system automatically. And another important factor is our income tax return is very important document for uh, getting visa easily because many families, they got children outside so they can get their refund or they can get their visa sanctioned on the strength of the income tax returns and also in case of unfortunate accidental death the compensation to the family members could be claimed based on the income tax return. So, if you have not submitted the return so far, please do not worry. Just ensure that your taxable income based on TDS is submitted and claimed back. In case of any assistance required, please send a message. I will help you to the get the amount as a service. Thank you very much. Good day.